in this session we will be discussing about <coughs> the new clause which is added <coughs> with package creation which is accessible by clause we can use this accessible by clause while creating the package specification this clause can be appended with package spec only not with package body when we use this clause what will happen what will be the advantage of using accessible by clause in package see normally when we see the syntax of a package it will be create or replace package package name is between package name and is we can use two clauses here one is auth id another one is accessible by auth id is to specify invoker's rights or definer's rights this topic we will discuss in advanced pl sql concept now we are discussing about the accessible by clause which can be used in the package specification so before is we can use accessible by clause if at all we are using auth id and accessible by clause since auth id has highest priority first we need to use auth id and then we need to use accessible by clause if at all we are using both of them but at present we are using only accessible by clause what is the advantage of using accessible by clause in the package specification see generally when we create a package without accessible by clause the packages can be invoked from anywhere it can be invoked by a package a procedure a function an application or anywhere else but usage of accessible by clause will restrict the call of this package to a specific object so when we specify accessible by object name this package can be accessed only from that object it cannot be accessed by anything else if you specify accessible by package 1 this particular package can be accessed through package 1 only if you want to access this package first we need to call the package 1 inside package 1 only we can call this package we cannot call this package directly or we cannot call this package through some other package it cannot be used in any other packages except the package name what we have specified in the accessible by clause take an example we have an application we are designing the database for the application purpose now to access the packages from the application there will be one application account or service account through which we will be accessing the packages by default the application can access all the packages whichever is available in the database in the same schema now we can design the database we can design the database in such a way that we can have some wrapper packages and some normal packages we can divide all the packages into two groups wrappers and normal packages 
when we say wrapper packages this will have only the packaged sub program calls in the body of the wrapper packages only the package calls will be there or packaged sub program calls will be there it will not have any actual body of the sub programs in the wrapper it is just like outline it's like helper now the actual body of the sub programs will be present in the normal packages or actual packages now when we give the access on wrapper packages to the service account from the service account we can see only the wrapper packages we cannot see the actual packages or normal packages because we have not granted any privileges on other packages to the service account so client can access only right wrapper packages or helper packages which will have only package calls so no business logic will be written in the wrapper packages all the business logic will be written in the actual packages now while creating the actual packages we will use accessible by clause in all the actual packages while creating the actual or normal packages we will be using the accessible by clause and here we specify the name of the wrapper packages wherever it is called now when we give the access to the wrapper package to the service account we are giving access on wrapper package to the service account service account can call the wrapper package from the wrapper package we are calling this actual packages where we have written the business logic this is the only way we can call or execute the actual packages when we use accessible by clause so if at all client wants to see what is the business logic implemented inside this it is not possible we are hiding we are hiding the business logic or hiding the entire code what we have written inside the actual packages only the wrapper packages they can see inside that we have only package calls to the actual packages we are hiding the business complexity or business logic or the complete code this is an advantage of using accessible by clause if you try to access these objects outside it will throw an error message it has to be called through the package what we have mentioned or wrapper package it cannot be called directly let us see an example <coughs> we have package 17 we have package 17 here <coughs> this is our actual package accessible by package 17 main or package 17 wrapper so in the main package we can access this package 17 that means package 17 is the actual package here we have two procedures p1 and p2 <coughs> we create the body for package 17 p1 we are defining just one message p2 we are defining another message package 17 p1 package 17 p2 just one message we are displaying here now if we try to access this package directly
see invoke a procedure in package 7 package package 17 which is normal package where we have used accessible by package 17 underscore main if you try to invoke them execute package 17 dot p1 insufficient privilege to access object package 17 p2 same error message let's call them through plsql block package 17 dot p1 same error message either directly through execute or through package call we cannot execute or we cannot access this package directly we can access this package through package 17 underscore main only let's create that package now let us see package 17 dot underscore main we have two procedures structure need not be same the body of seven package 17 underscore main we are displaying this is from main and we are calling p1 in p2 we are calling p2 package 17 dot p2 along with one message so when we invoke this procedure from this package this message will be displayed and this procedure will be called from package 17 which has one message again now let us see execution execute package 17 main dot p1 this is from main package this is from actual package so first one is wrapper second one is the actual package so we are able to execute when we call p2 wrapper package main package let's call through block plsql block p1 and p2 both of them we are calling this is from p1 this is from p2 both of them are displayed that means we have successfully implemented the hiding of code using accessible by clause first of all we can hide the package body content directly package body content will be hidden even if if we give debug access then package body content will be visible but when we use accessible by clause we cannot invoke them and we need not give debug access on the actual package where we use accessible by clause we can give full access on the wrapper package which doesn't have any code in that except calls calling to the actual packaged procedures or functions that means when we give the access on wrapper only they can see begin end packaged calls packaged sub program calls etc not the actual business logic the entire actual business logic is written in the main procedures main packages where we use accessible by clause in this accessible by clause we use only wrapper package names we are giving access to the wrappers we need to specify the package name not only package name we can also use procedure function name here means accessible by one plsql object name so when we give object name through that object only we can access this package it can be procedure function package or trigger whatever so except that pack that object we cannot access this package through any other object this is the advantage of using accessible by clause with package specification while creating the package we have to decide from which object this package will be called so while creating the package spec we need to define this especially we will be giving wrapper package names here 
this is how we can hide the code complexity or we can hide the complete code of the actual packages.